Today, we will learn some special cases related to the area of a rectangle. Take a rectangular piece of paper of length 10 cm and breadth 6 cm. Cut the rectangle along its diagonal to get two triangles. Superimpose one triangle on the other. After adjusting, you will find that they cover each other completely. What does this tell you? Think for a while. You are absolutely right. Here, both the triangles are congruent. Since they cover each other completely and exactly, we can also say that both triangles are equal in area. Since the rectangle in question is being divided into two equal parts, we can say that the area of each triangle is half the area of the rectangle. Or in other words, the sum of the areas of the two triangles is the same as the area of the rectangle. The area of each triangle is half into area of the rectangle. In this way, the area of each triangle here will be half into length of the rectangle into breadth of the rectangle. Thus, the area of each triangle will be half into 10 cm into 6 cm, which is equal to 30 square centimeters. Now take a square piece of paper of side 8 cm. Draw both its diagonals and divide it into 4 parts. You will get 4 triangles. Are they congruent to each other? Think for a while. Let me tell you. If we place all the 4 triangles, one on top of the other, they will cover each other completely and exactly. Therefore, we can say that since all four triangles are congruent to each other, they are equal in area. Since one square is being divided into four equal parts, we can say that the area of each triangle is one-fourth of the area of the square. In this way, the area of each triangle will be 1 by 4 into area of the square, which means 1 by 4 into side square, that is 1 by 4 into 8 cm square, which is equal to 16 square centimeters. Similarly, a rectangle ABCD of red 7 cm and length 12 cm is divided into two parts as shown in the figure. Here, a, E, P, Q, F, D is congruent to C, F, Q, P, E, B. Can you tell me what will be the area of each part? Think for a while. Your answer is absolutely correct. Here, the rectangle is divided into two congruent parts. Therefore, the area of one part is equal to the area of the other part. We can conclude that the area of each congruent part will be half of the area of the rectangle. Thus, the area will be half into 12 cm into 7 cm, which is equal to 42 square centimeters. Now look at the square given here. In this, The square ACEG is divided into eight congruent parts. If the length of the side of the square is 10 cm, what will be the area of each part? Think for a while. Let me tell you. Here, the square of side 10 cm is divided into eight equal parts. Since all parts are congruent to each other, we can conclude that they are equal in area. Since the area of the square is divided into 8 equal parts, therefore, the area of each part will be 1 by 8 into area of the square, which is equal to 
1 by 8 into 10 centimeter into 10 centimeter which is equal to 1 by 8 into 100 centimeter square which is equal to 12.5 square centimeters. Now find out for yourself if all the parts of the rectangle of length 18 centimeter and breadth 12 centimeters are congruent to each other. What will be the area of each part? Today, we learned about some special cases related to the area of a rectangle. Thank <laughs> you.